Do you want to know how to create this overlay that user can slide it in by dragging his handle, which has also glassy effect in the Figma? So get sure to watch this video until the end. My name is Kia and here is the Kimo. Welcome to another episode of the Kimo Lab. Before we start the process, I prepared a simple user interface that is going to be the foundation of this case study. This is a simple promo page of the iPhone 13 Pro. Nothing so complex, some basic user interface elements like a burger menu or some headlines or the simple text and also the background. First step is to create a rectangle. Then I will add another circle to the scene and I will reshape it to the shape that I like. I will align it to the center and then subtract it from the rectangle. Then I will flatten this layer and then choose two vertices in the corner and then increase the border radius and create the shape that I like. Then I change the background color to white and increase the transparency. I add another effect which is the background blur and increase it in order to create the glassy effect. Then I will play around a bit by adding some element in order to see what can I do here to make more realistic prototype. I add another rectangle that I will use it later on as the handle that user will interact with it to slide the overlay in or just slide it down. Uh, I also add some uh, uh, text and a uh, headline uh, that will be the specification of the product. In the final step, I will uh, create some, uh, let's say, call to action buttons uh, down there, uh, one primary button and one secondary button. Our element is ready. I just group them together and I bring it down. Then I make a copy from it and in this new frame, I just bring the overlay a bit up. Now I select the overlay in the first frame and use the prototype feature and connect it to the uh, second frame. The interaction type should be on drag and uh, the animation transition type should be auto animate. For the second one, I select the handle and set the same, uh, let's say, animation transition type. I do the same thing for the button. Now the preview is ready. So let's check out the prototype. As you can see, user can uh, slide in the overlay by uh, dragging the handle up and down or clicking on the cancel button. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it, leave a comment and let me know which type of videos you like to see more in this channel. And at the end again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video.